Hi, this is Miss Cruz. I'm going to be showing you how to create an armature for the inside of your foil sculpture that you're going to be making. Okay, uh, now just to remind you, um, the word armature means it's a framework that supports the material uh, for the sculpture that you're making. So it's the inside skeleton, is what I like to say, um, for your sculpture. So, your, the instructions are, um, for your full sculpture, you should be choosing a gesture drawing that you've already created. And these three, uh, I don't even have this full one. If you remember, whenever I did the demonstration, they didn't even show what the legs were doing. Um, this one's sitting, this one's also sitting, and so those are hard to do for a body in motion. So, uh, you can choose from one of your drawings. You should have at least ten of them. I only have three right here. Uh, along with those ten that you can choose from. You can also choose one of the armature skeleton um, uh, practice is that you did, and so you can choose one of these forms as well. And I went ahead and decided that I want to do this one, this body in motion. Okay, so I'm going to create an armature um, that has this skeleton um, that resembles this. Okay, now the supplies that you need for this are pipe cleaners, and I would say you need at least about 12. I think uh, I the last time I created one I only used 10, but just have about 12 um, to work with. Um, what I would do is I would get a, oh, along with the pipe cleaners you also need some scissors. And I, that's actually the only things that you need for this. Okay, I would go ahead and get a couple of these and cut them in half. You're probably going to need more shorter ones. Um, you can just cut them with your scissors and just set them to the side and I'll probably just take one and cut some smaller pieces. Um, I wouldn't make a whole bunch of these small ones because you don't know if you're going to use them all um, and I'm just cutting them because I'm anticipating that I will need some <coughs> smaller pieces. Okay, alright, so I'm going to set those aside as well. Okay, so the very first thing I would do is I would start with the head. and <coughs> now the head is an oval shape. I start to use about half of it and then I give it a twist. That's the great thing about these pipe cleaners. They're very easy to shape. And then I come back around so it looks kind of like this. Right here. And then I just kind of tie it. Okay. Each body part will take about one, about one uh, pipe cleaner or so. Okay, so once you have that, I'm going to go ahead and attach, um, I'm going to go ahead and make his torso. Um, and so I'm getting another pipe cleaner, and I'm going to go ahead and fold it down. Now, there's a million and one ways in which you can create these armatures. But I'm just showing you what I do. Okay, so I just left like a little bit, and this will kind of like act like as a support for the neck. You see how that's holding that? Okay, and then I'm just going to make a big loop and kind of like just manipulate it and twist it to where it looks something like this. Okay. All right. All right. Now, um, because I want these to be more dimensional, to have it be a little bit more strengthy, I could probably leave it like this, but I think I'm wanting to um, do it very similar to how I created this head. So I'm going to go ahead and have another one coming down. So I'm going to half this one in half and just kind of twist it over it. And like I said, there's so many ways that you can do this. Please, you know, you're... You don't feel like you need to do yours just like mine. Okay. All right. Sorry. Forget that I need to make sure that this is in view. All right. So I have this. Okay. Okay, so so far it looks like that, right there. Uh -huh. So it does have a little bit of dimension to it. Okay, 
And we can press it flat if we need to. All right, I'm going to go ahead and create these arms. Um, so the, where the shoulder blades are, the top part, um, I will probably, let's see, if I go through here, probably do it right in the middle and twist it to secure it so it doesn't fall. Twist it. All right, and then it's gonna be down like that. Actually, more down, and then this one. Don't forget where the shoulders are. More like that. The shoulders are about like that wide, and then this one comes. Uh, we're obviously going to need a lot more. Um, I think I'm going to come back to these arms because I think it's important that we have this pelvis area and then start on the leg, so I can always go back to that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start on the pelvis. I'm going to go ahead and make a loop. Okay. Okay, and then we go ahead... Okay, this doesn't have to be too complicated either. I mean, nobody's going to see this part. The skeleton, this is actually just supporting the, the foil in which we're going to be covering it. So, if anything, we're just really trying to grasp the scale of it and trying to get the right proportions to make it look um, um, propor proportionally correct. Okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and put start on this leg right here. So I've got another pipe cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and attach it right there and twist it. Okay. And I I like to show form um, where the thigh is, and so you can see that I went ahead and like let it have like an opening right there. And then, of course, here's the, the leg. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. I mean, the bottom part of the leg. Okay. Alright. And then this one. Kind of. It's going to be almost at the same length as this one. In fact, it should um, be the same length where the knee is. And then it's just going to be kind of tilted. Okay. So, so far I have that. Okay. And this is where I'm going to get some smaller ones right here. I'm going to go ahead and twist to kind of extend that a little bit. And um, I'm going to go ahead and make a foot out of this, like a small one. I'll probably have to attach one of those little bitty ones. Okay. Okay. So you can kind of see, and kind of see that it has like a little opening. And there's a little foot. Um, okay, and then this one, I have to do something very similar. I think um, I'm not going to finish this one. I want to show you how to do the arm, one of the arms. Um, but you get the idea. I was going to go ahead and finish that, but you somewhat get the idea for that. Okay, let's go ahead and do this arm right here. So I'm getting one of these smaller pieces. And 
I'm just twisting it to secure it somewhere. Actually, I don't want to secure it right there. I'm going to put it over here where the shoulder, where it meets the shoulder. Okay, and then I'm wanting to um, go where the elbow is. And twist it, and then I can get a short little piece, or this is one of these longer pieces. Okay, and then you can see how somewhat long. And it should be very close to the hip. Um, you know, it this looks really long, but actually the shoulder, this piece is actually right there. So this arm is right there and then here. And I could probably, for this hand, I can get a small little piece and attach it. Just make like a little circle. Just to give the impression. Okay. Okay. All right. So there you have it. You have this arm. There's that. Um, and then now what you need to do once you complete this armature, of course, you know it's definitely not going to stand up on its own. That won't happen. Um, once you build it up with foil, it should stand. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do the next part.